Hey everyone, it's Alexi Uzas here from Exile Accelerator. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why there has never been a better time to be a filmmaker in the history of the film industry. Before I start this video, I want to let you know that places have opened up for our Producing Accelerator program that helps filmmakers finance and produce their films consistently so that they can start building a career in the film industry. If you're interested in that, you want to stick around until the end of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified when we post a video every week. Okay, so let's jump into it. Number one is the streaming wars. Now that streaming has solidified itself as the main player in the film industry, We've seen right in front of our eyes a rush by other companies like Disney and like Hulu and Apple to try and jump into that game and to establish themselves as a real competitor against Netflix. So what we're seeing is that these companies are pouring millions and billions of dollars into content acquisition so that they can compete with Netflix and gain subscribers. And what that's created is a new demand for content, for film and TV, that has previously never been seen. And as the law of supply and demand tells us, as demand goes up for a product or in a marketplace, then supply needs to basically catch up with that level of demand. And during that time, the price that can be demanded in that market increases. So right now, if you're a filmmaker, there are economic forces outside of your control that are actually playing into your favor as a content creator, as a filmmaker, as a maker of TV. So simply by being in this market right now, by being in this industry, you're putting yourself in a position where you can really ride that economic up. And so this is one of the really the, the most um, important reasons and one of the, I think, strongest arguments as to why right now is the best time to be a filmmaker, to be a producer in the history of the film industry. The second reason is the cost of production. So as technology keeps improving and as the costs of production keep driving down, through the production phase, through post-production, it is becoming less expensive to make films than it ever has been. Unfortunately though, I don't think everyone is taking advantage of this. But as a filmmaker, if you can put a film into production for a small amount of money, and you don't have to spend years and years trying to finance a project. You can just get out there, start shooting. Once it's shot, you can start editing and get through post-production. If you can do that on a relatively small budget, then you're giving yourself a huge up in the industry because you're one of the people that's actually creating the content that the streaming platforms are trying to acquire. And I want to give you an example. I made a film three years ago called West of Sunshine. It was made for a budget of under $100,000. And it went on to premiere at the Venice Film Festival. So it is possible to make a film for a micro budget that goes on to premiere at a major festival. And there are plenty of other examples of filmmakers that have taken advantage of this. Tangerine is a great recent example of a film that was critically acclaimed and helped launch a career or helped, uh, helped accelerate the career of a now established filmmaker. And so getting out there and making a film for a micro budget is something that is absolutely do doable these days and is gonna put you ahead of so many filmmakers because those filmmakers that are out there making films are a much smaller percentage than those who are developing and just trying to finance films. The third reason why there's never been a better time to be a filmmaker in the film industry is due to diversity. So now what we're seeing 
across companies through Hollywood and the independent sector is a real drive towards diversity and making sure that cast and crew are more representative of society as a whole. And so this creates real opportunity for uh, people that had previously been unable to access the filmmaking system in a way that's possible today. So if you're from a minority, then it is much easier to find a place in the filmmaking industry to really take a, a much more prominent position in the industry, again, whether you're a cast member or a crew member, and the stories that are now being told and, and are now being celebrated around the world are those stories that previously wouldn't have been able to achieve that level of success and that level of audience awareness. And so it is a really exciting time to be part of the industry because it, there is a real push to making it more democratic, more inclusive and more available to a diverse cross-section of society. The fourth reason is that there has never been more information available to filmmakers than ever before. So previously, the film industry and particularly the studio system has been a closed door and there's been very little information available uh, to allow filmmakers an opportunity to see what goes on behind closed doors and to understand the filmmaking process and the financing process so that they can create their own films. But now due to the internet, there is so much information available out there, whether it's um, online programs, of course, like the Producing Accelerator, whether there's free content like the video you're watching right now, whether it's uh, masterclasses, webinars, there is so much more information out there that previously just was not available to filmmakers. And so the information age has really created another opportunity where anyone, regardless of whether they went to a film school, can basically go out there and acquire the knowledge that they need to be able to take the first steps in the film industry and start becoming a filmmaker. The fifth and final reason is that thanks to social media, artists have greater access to their audience and to their customers than ever before. And so what this does in turn is that it gives artists more leverage at the negotiating table. Because if an artist can, build, uh, can bring a built-in audience to a streaming platform or a studio, then they have more value. And so that allows them to command much better terms when it comes to dealing with the streaming platforms or to the studio. And there are no barriers to entry when it comes to being able to build an audience. So anyone can set up a social media profile and start building an audience for their film or for their uh, TV series or even for their own personal brand that can then be applied to any number of products or any number of uh, different pieces of work that that artist then creates. And probably the greatest example of this is The Rock. He's been able to create this social media empire that now allows him to become an extremely valuable asset to the studios. And so really there has never been a better time in the film industry for an artist because they can engage with their audience directly. They can build that audience from scratch and that really does give them more leverage at the negotiating table. Okay, so that's it for the video today. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and jump into the comments and let me know whether there are any reasons that you can think of as to why there has never been a better time in the history of the film industry to be a filmmaker. Also, if you wanna sign up for a one-on-one -on -one strategy session, to see if you're a good fit for our Producing Accelerator program, you can do that in the link in the description. You'll be setting up a time to speak with either me or a member of my team, and we'll be working out exactly where you're at with the project, 
where you're trying to get to, and whether the Producing Accelerator program is the right fit for you. And check out these videos next on how to up your filmmaking game.